In this instructional video, we're going to cover how to import your content from a previous course into a new blank Canvas course. So here we are in a new blank Canvas course. So if I am at the end of the fall semester, this is my spring blank course. So what I want to do is import the content from my fall course into my spring course. Now to do that, you'll see a button that says import existing content to the right. That's under the course status, the publishing button. So we'll click on import existing content. Then in the drop down menu, we're going to copy a Canvas course. That's your first option. Now here we will search for a course. You should be able to see um, the, the courses organized by semester. So that should make it a little bit easier, but you can also search by name. So I've been able to search and I've selected this particular course. Now, if you don't see the course immediately, you may need to check mark the box here to include completed courses in your search. So once you've selected your course, now you can choose if you want to bring over all the course content or specific content from your course say a couple of quizzes or just a module or two, something like that. I'm going to say all content to keep it simple. And the next option is to adjust the events and due dates. I like to do this. You don't need to do this um, here. You can go in and manually update every single date and you will need to probably anyway, but this might make it a little bit easier if you check mark this and select remove dates. That means all of the items in your course that have a due date, those dates will be removed and then you will know to go in and add all of those dates one by one. Now there's a shortcut to, to entering your due dates. I'll show you that in a minute once we have our course brought in. But for right now I'm just going to go ahead and remove the dates. Um, I find shifting the course dates to be not super helpful because you have to go through anyway and adjust the dates based on holidays and stuff like that. So I like to remove all the dates and click Import. This may take a few minutes. It will go from queued to showing a blue status bar right here. And when it's done, it will show a green checkbox. All right, it looks just about complete. If there are any issues in bringing over your content, it will show up here. And you can click that icon and see what the problem is. So right here, I, I would address this normally right away, but it looks like there's a missing link or a broken link that's found somewhere in a page that I have. I'm not going to do that right now, but this is an important thing to know how to do. You'll just click on this. It will take you to the page and you can edit the page and fix it. So for right now, I'm going to click on home. Make sure that my course looks the way I expect. I will have to edit these announcements, right? I'll have to either take them away completely or add in dates for those announcements so they show up correctly for the students. And then I have my home page and everything like that so I know what I need to start editing. So here's the shortcut I was telling you about a minute ago to adjust all of your due dates. If you click on assignments and then click on the three dots in the upper right, you'll be able to edit the assignment dates. This gives you a batch process where you can uh, select all of the assignments and change the due dates or you can go one by one. So like right here's my first assignment, here's a quiz, and again it just allows you to go in very quickly, enter in your due date, and you're available from and until dates. And it just makes it a little bit easier to enter all of your dates at once and then click save when you're done. And all of those dates will be updated for you without having to go into every single assignment. Now it's a good practice to go into those assignments anyway, just so you take a look at it, you know, you kind of have your eyeballs on it, and then you can enter in those dates um, and give it a once over as you do that. But if you know, if you very recently edited your course or updated it, this is a very quick way that you can enter in all, uh, all of those assignment dates. So for now, that's it. Um, this just covered the basics for copying over, importing your course from the last semester 
into the new semester. Remember to go through, check all of your content, publish everything, and when you're ready to launch your course, click the big publish button as well. So hopefully this helps get you guys started. Let me know if you have any questions.